Hi everyone, today we're going to be covering how to set up custom goals. So custom goals are useful because it allows you to select a specific set of conversions that you want a campaign to optimize towards. So in this example, I have a purchase goal which is set up at the account default. And within this goal, there are two conversion actions. So the primary one is a purchase that's using a data-driven attribution model. The other event is a purchase event, but it's using a first click attribution model. I like to set up conversion actions for all of the main attribution models. These are the two that I use most frequently. And the first click attribution model is useful, especially in top of funnel campaigns where you're trying to hit a cold audience. This could be in YouTube, display, discovery where you might not get a lot of conversion data, especially if you're running with a limited budget and it's not enough to use, let's say like a target ROAS or a smart bidding strategy in the campaign. So one way to work around that is to change the attribution model and to give it more conversion data to work with. But that would only apply towards that single campaign. In most other campaigns, I might want to use this data-driven. And there might be other actions on the website that I also want to track and optimize towards, especially if this is the first time coming to the site. So that might be a newsletter sign up or a lead form or a contact form or any other type of engagement. So the question then becomes is how can I change the goal at the campaign level? Because if I select purchase, it's automatically going to default to the data driven because this is selected as the primary conversion action within this goal or the newsletter sign up. So the solution to that is to set up what's called a custom goal. And the custom goal is always located at the bottom of the conversion page. So in this example, I have a custom goal set up and it's going to track a purchase and the sign up goal. And so let me clear this so you can see how to select it. So over here, you'll see all of the conversion actions that are set up in the account, both as like a primary and a secondary. So this custom goal allows me to select what specifically I want to track inside this custom goal. So in this case, I want to track a purchase first click attribution event. And so if you'll remember, this was the one that was set as a secondary. And then I also want to track this newsletter sign up. Now this gives me a combination of multiple data sources that can feed more data into the top of funnel to help with the, the bidding strategies and optimizations. So I'm going to save this and then now I'm going to go back to my campaigns. I'm going to open up the campaign setting and under goal, usually it will be set here as account goal setting. So this is the default setting for any campaign, new campaign that's set up. I'm going to select use campaign specific goals. And now you'll see here are the three goals that are currently set up in the account. Now I don't want to select purchases because this will include the data driven attribution purchase and signups. I could include that if I had a custom goal that was just the, the purchase, but in this case, I added the sign up and the purchase event into this one goal. So I can go ahead and remove that. And now I'm just left with this custom goal that I had set up, which includes the purchase using the first click attribution model and then the website newsletter sign up. And that's how you can use the campaign specific goals to select specific actions that you want a campaign to optimize towards. Now, when you're setting this up, it's always a good idea to run campaign experiments to find which set of goals are going to yield the best results in terms of the end result, which in this case would still be purchases. And so this is where you would want to set up a campaign to test well, what's the right goal to use for any specific campaign as a next step after this? So that's it to, for today on custom goals. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments section. Thank you for your time and please make sure to subscribe to the Next Level PPC YouTube channel.